Hey guys, Nagraj here. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new for my channel, please do subscribe. Today's topic is the difference between list set and the map interface. Before getting to the exact difference between the list set and map interface, we'll see some of the similarities between the list set and uh, map interface. Okay, first we need to understand like how it is uh, implemented with which interface and those informations. So in this diagram, maybe uh, you will able to catch up things like the list and set. These two are interface and these are extends the collection framework. Okay, so under the list we have few uh, classes like array list, linked list, and vector. Similarly, in this side, uh, list extends extends the collection interface and uh, sorted set again extends the set interface. Similarly, like here we have some classes under the list. Similarly, we he here we have some classes under the set as well. Like has set and linked has sets are implements the set interface. If we come back to the uh, map interface, right? So again, the sorted uh, map or the interface which extends the map in, uh, interface. Again, uh, hash table and hash map, these two classes are implements the map interface. So now uh, we got some uh, basic uh, the similarities between the list set and the uh, map interface. Now we'll move on to the exact differences between the uh, list set and map interface. The first, the differences is the list set and map interface the, regarding the order. So the list is maintains the insertion order and the set does not maintain insertion order. Similarly, the map does not maintain the insertion order. What it exactly meaning? So I will go back to the uh, Eclipse here. Okay, let me open the uh, in uh, Eclipse. Okay, here I have defined the list interface. So I have created a list object. Okay, so I have added few elements to it. Okay, value one, value two, value three, similarly till value four. These are the insertion order. Value one inserted first, value two inserted next, similarly till a value eight it is inserted. Here I have written some piece of code to iterate these values. So if I run this program, right? So I get some of the value. So list of list elements are like value one, value two, and value till value eight. So if you closely observe here, the insertion order is like from one to eight. So similarly, the output we got like one to eight only. So that is the meaning. The insertion order is exactly same in the list interface. If I go back to the set interface, so I have created one object for the set interface similarly here I have added few elements 1 to 8 the insertion order 1 to 8 and here I have added some piece of code to iterate these values if I run this program okay if I run this program let me run this okay I got something like value 8 value 5 4 7 6 1 3 2 so this is not according to the insertion order insertion order is like from value 1 I have inserted first and value 2 next and similarly value 8 but here as an output I got like value 8 is the first and 5 4 7 6 1 3 2 so it is not like exactly the insertion order so we can say that set is not maintaining the insertion order Similarly, we saw here like the map also not maintained in the maintaining the insertion order that we so here again I have created the object for the map like uh, these two have taken as a uh, key value I have taken as a integer and the values I have taken as a in string values. So I have created one object of map. So the key I have added integer value and the values I have added the string values. I have inserted order like the one is the value one, two is value two, eight, eleven, Three, something like that I have added but similarly here I have added to iterate this map interface we need to use entry and uh, entry set method so likewise I have uh, iterated these values if I run this value so let me run this the map interface see here I have inserted here the value 1 is first 2 8 11 something like that but if I concentrate here so I got something like in the different order it is not as per the insertion order value 1 i got first 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and 11 
but so here also we can say that the map is not maintaining the insertion order so let me repeat again so list is maintaining the insertion order and set doesn't maintain insertion order as well as the map also it won't maintain any insertion order okay let's quickly move on to the next differences like uh, first one we saw the insertion order second one is the duplicate element so list interface right it is not allows it allows the duplicate elements but the set and map does not allow the duplicate elements what it means so if i go back to the eclipse again so list is maintaining the duplicate value suppose if i add some of the uh, duplicate value something i will add let me add the same value multiple times we'll see uh, okay let me add the same value multiple times or duplicate value let me add it so if i run this program so i should get the duplicate value as well see here value one i got three times so as i have added here multiple times three times i have added so three times i got the output in case of set so let me add some duplicate values here so let me add same value one itself let me duplicate let me copy this and uh, paste it over here okay if i run this program in the set interface i should not get the duplicate value see here value one i got only one times so we can say that set it is not maintaining any uh, duplicate value it doesn't allow that is the meaning so in case of map interface let me add some of the duplicate values here so copy let me paste it somewhere here if i run this program right see uh, as i added multiple times the one but it is not maintaining any uh, duplicate value it is removing the duplicate value and keeping only one value as a output so we can say that the map does not maintain the means does it it is not allowing the duplicate element set also not allowing duplicate element and the uh, list interface will allow duplicate element that is the meaning now now let's move on to the next uh, differences like uh, the null values so in case of null values list allows the multiple null values set allows only one null values but in case of map the key allows only one null value and the uh, multiple null values are allowed okay in case of the map interface we'll see practically how uh, the null value uh, interact with this so okay let me add as we saw here like so it is allowing multiple list allows multiple null values correct so we'll go here to the eclipse so let me add some null values okay so as per the uh, description we saw that it is allowing multiple null values okay let me add more than one null values if i run this program it should allow so as uh, the value we have a two null values it is allowing two times the null values but in case of the set as we saw here like it is allowing only one null values in the set interface so let's see here let me add some multiple null values okay so let me add one and two okay. i have added two null values if i run this program so if i run this program the set values are only one only one null values it is allowed so multiple values even though if we have the multiple null value if we add it in the set interface it is taking only one one null value so what about a map now the map allows a single null key at most and the multiple null values so one times null key null key it will allow and multiple times it will allow the null as a null values so let me go back and we'll see uh let me add one null here okay let me add here null okay let me add multiple null values okay this much i have added as per the description you saw that it is allowing only one null key and multiple null values but if i run this program but here i have added two null key and a multiple null values so if i run this program okay i should get only one null key correct right? so i got only one null key here see we can see only one null key and i can see the multiple null value as well 
I can see multiple null values. So we'll see the next differences. The implementations class. So this one we already saw in the uh, initial uh, diagram which we discussed. Uh, list implements uh, classes are the array list and list interface. That is the here is the meaning. So array list, linked list, and vectors are implements the list interface. That is the meaning. Okay. So we'll go back to the okay implementation classes are the array list and linked list and uh, set implementations classes are hash, <coughs> hash set and linked hash set similarly for the map implementation classes are hash map and hash table okay that we already saw this this is the array list and linked list these are the implementations of the list interface and the hash set and linked list are implementations of the set interface similarly for the map we have Hash table and hash maps are the implementations implements the map interface. We'll go to quickly the next differences like index. So list list provides the get method to get the particular element, but in case of a set, it doesn't provide any uh, index related method to to get the value. But in the map also, it doesn't provide to get a method to get the element at the specific specific index. Suppose I want to, if I go to the list, it is allowing the index method, right? Get method, it is allowing to uh, provide me the output. If I go to list dot get method, we have. So if I use this get method, particular index, I can able to get it, right? Suppose if I want to uh, get the index value of three, I need to add three here. So I can able to print out this value. Yeah, I can able to find the. Uh, get index 3 but in case of set I don't because I can navigate particularly I can able through the index I can able to uh, get the index value of the array list in case of set so suppose if I use the set dot get method see I don't have any uh, get method available to fetch the index value of particular uh, uh, set in the map also I don't have any m dot get if I use the get see only I can use the key value which particular key I can able to be based on the key I can able to get the value but I don't have particular uh, index method is not available in case of the map and the set yeah but in case of uh, uh, list interface we have the particular get method to get the index of that element okay next we'll see the next differences uh, is the element travers this already we saw like uh, the list will traverse the element by using the iterator this iterator and uh, set will also the iterator concept and map also key set and the entry set it will navigate to the element of the map so we are using the iterator to navigate or iterate through the uh, list element in case of set also we can use the iterator so it is just some same thing like I have created the list interface dot iterator method. It returns the iterator as object. So based on this, whether it, the element has or not, I am printing print out the list element. So similarly in the set also, I have created set dot iterator. Iterator is the method. So it returns me the iterator object. So based on this object, I can able to navigate whether it has next or not. Similarly in the map we as i mentioned entry set and uh, <coughs> entry or set get value i can able to uh, find the or iterate the values to the i can navigate to the particular uh, value with the through the key set or value and the entry set we can able to element traverse can be done when to use suppose if you are looking for duplicate value also then you can go for the list at the same time we can use suppose if we want to access the element frequently then because we, as we have the index based concept so list will be the best choice when you should go for the set so set actually suppose if you don't want that any duplicate value to be present in the uh, uh, in the interface then you should go for the set interface then also it will keep the unique values in the map also like whenever we need a key value pairs concept then you should go for the map interface so finally, uh, we'll see uh, like <clears throat> what are the unsynchronized implementations are present in the list set and map interface. So unsynchronized implementations are array list and linked list under list interface. And here the hash set and linked hash set are the unsynchronized implementations of the set interface. Similarly, for hash 
map and linked hash map or tree map these are the unsynchronized implementation of the map interface uh, suppose if you want to know what exactly synchronized and unsynchronized we, i have already created the difference between list and set interface there we clearly explained about what is synchronized or uh, what is unsynchronized so please go through that video so we'll get more idea on what is synchronized and unsynchronized okay the last difference is, is synchronized implementation synchronized implementations of the list are like vector classes and in case of a uh, set we have few more uh, classes available copy on right array set and uh, concurrent skip list set similarly in the map hash table is the synchronized implementation of the map interface so we'll quickly we'll recall this one by one so first we can say that the it's element order so list maintains the insertion order set and map doesn't maintain any insertion order in case of duplicate element list interface allows the duplicate element set and map does not allow any duplicate element in case of null values so list allows the multiple null values but set allows only one null value but map allows one null key and multiple null values in case of uh, the implementation class so array list and linked list are uh, implementations uh, implements the list interface similarly for hash set and linked hash set will implement set interface and hash map and hash table implementations implements the map interface okay similarly for index so list have we have uh, uh, index concept like we can be able to get using the get method we can able to specify index we can navigate and set and map it is not possible as we don't have the uh, index related the things but in case of uh, element hours right list have we have we are using the iterator and set also will use iterator but map we have something like key set and entry set uh, uh, concept we can able to navigate to or traverse to the element the which one will be used is a list whenever we require something like uh, the duplicate value to be allowed and you are frequently uh, accessing the element through the index then you should go for the list element suppose if you want some unique value then you should go for uh, the set interface map whenever you want a key value paste then we should go for the map interface uh, this this one are the unsynchronized implementations array list and linked list are unsynchronized implementations of the list interface hash set and linked hash set are unsynchronized implementations of the set and hash map and linked hash map are the unsynchronized unsynchronized implementations of the map interface finally we'll see what are the synchronized implementations the vector and the copy on write array list are synchronized implementations and copy on write array set and concurrent skip list set are the synchronized implementation of the set and hash table and concurrent hash map these are the synchronized implementation of the map interface okay that's all for today guys so hope this will be uh, useful for you if you have any doubt regarding these differences between the list set or map or if you have any doubt regarding this point which i mentioned please put it in comment sections i will revert back to your queries okay thank you guys thanks for watching this video if you like this video please hit like button if you don't like please hit dislike button and don't don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you